Hey guys, it's Jelly Scrub here and welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a static IP so that you can port forward your servers, your Minecraft servers, your Unturned servers, and a whole bunch of other games that require port forward. But um, a lot of computers have a dynamic IP, so here we are, I'm going to show you how to set up a static IP. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is head down to the search and type in CMD for command prompt. And once we have that up, we just need to type in IP config slash or press enter and this looks pretty crazy but it's pretty easy there's just going to be four things that we're going to need to look for these four things are ipv4 address if i can spell double d then subnet mask default gateway And last but not least, DNS servers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we just head over to the command prompt and we'll scroll down until the first thing we see is IPv4 address 192.168.2.9. So write that down just over here 192.168.2.9. Now, um, a lot of people's is going to be different depending on what router you have, so just make sure, like mine by, may be different to yours, so just make sure you just copy what you have in here. Subnet mask, 255.255.255.0, then scroll down a little bit more, and we've got default gateway is 192.168.2.1, and down here, DNS servers, 192.168.2.1 again so that's all we're going to need with this so you can simply just exit out of the command prompt and save and exit out of that next we need to come down to the search feature down here again and search control panel so in the control panel we will see under network and internet view network status and tasks and go up to here change adapter settings and then click on the one that you're connected to. If you're Wi-Fi, click right click on your Wi-Fi. If you're on Ethernet, right click on your Ethernet. So I'm on Wi-Fi, right click and go properties. Now down here, we need to scroll down until we see internet protocol version four, TCP IPv4. Click on that, go properties. Now by default, it will say obtain an IP address automatically and obtain a DNS server address automatically. So we need to go back to our desktop and bring up our information that we had before, our IPv, IPv4 address, subnet mask, all that information that we had typed down from the command prompt earlier. So what we'll need to do is check, check, uh, check use the following IP address. So under subnet mask, we'll type in 255.255.255.0, default gateway. 192.168.2.1 Preferred DNS server 192.168.2.1 And see with IP address I didn't just put in the one that we found before um, We're going to put in one that is a good number to remember and not too close Probably not within space of say about 20 So it will, the first three numbers are going to be the same so 192 1682 and now so by default my ipv4 was 2.9 but as a good way to remember it because um when you set up the port forward you're going to need to remember this ip is i just go 234 nice and easy to remember and yeah so once we've got that all we have to do is click ok close and now to check that it worked just go so that should have worked. So just to check that it worked, head back down to the search feature, CMD, search IP con, IP con fig slash all, enter. And we should see that yes, now IPv4 address is 192.168.2.234. And that's what we set it to be. 
So yeah, that's pretty easy, pretty easy way to set up a static IP, which again is you will have to do this as a process if you want to make a port forwarding. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.